everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Chuck Henry. Well, the Dodger faithful descended on Dodger Stadium tonight to welcome home the World Series champs. And as NBC4's Beverly White now shows us, it is probably the closest thing that fans are going to come to a celebration, at least for now. Blacked out windows on the Dodgers buses did not discourage fans who flooded the stadium entrance once they learned the team touched down at LAX. Finished eating dinner and they're like, oh, look, they're landing. Let's go to the stadium see. As soon as I saw that they were on their way, I told my wife, come on, let's go. And I brought, got my boys. We've been partying like it's 1988. We're so excited and we're glad that they're home safe. Overjoyed. Can't believe it. 32 years. Late afternoon, the team got a hero's welcome at LAX, clutching the World Series trophy and everyone wearing a mask. While at their home stadium, fans huddled up with no guarantee the team would show. Hopefully, it doesn't take another 32 years, but I'm very excited I have to come and just walk the champs back home. Along with the thrill of victory, concerns about COVID weigh heavy on Dodger fans. Many speaking out about Justin Turner's diagnosis during game six, during what must still be a career highlight. I felt bad. My heart was broken that that moment was stolen from him to be able to celebrate with the team. Uh, he was a key contributor. I'm glad that he's asymptomatic and, you know, I hope the best for all the Dodgers and let's get everyone tested. Let's stay safe. Let's wear our masks. Fans rewarded with a peek as MVP Corey Seager headed home and deep gratitude from Dodger Kike Hernandez. Hey everybody in LA, this is for you guys. We appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. Uh, it was an easy year, but we got it done. This fan brought a handmade trophy, knowing it may be a while before the real one is publicly displayed in LA. My heart, you know, 32 years of waiting. I was a senior in high school when they won, and, you know, it just seems so. I was crying when they won. In Elysian Park, Beverly White, NBC4 News.